Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. I'm too sweaty. Man, spaghetti, something, something, something. Angel Wilbertson, son, son, son. Let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about new product. Nigel, what are you saying? I'll tell you what I'm saying. 1946, when we ratify the United Nations and the world's on a cusp of a new hope. We're finally united. What's on the tin is in the tin. And then we fast forward 70 years and what do we got? People don't have dreams, they've got mortgages. Kids don't have friends, they've got Pokemons. And people like you, you'd rather hold an iPhone than a baby. That's what I'm saying. Gracie, can you call HR? Nigel's doing another monologue. Sorry, guys. It's OK, Nigel. We've seen it all before. Come on, guys, let's talk about some new ideas. Something fresh? I've got something. Who are you? I'm the millennial in the office who gives everyone the shits, but I'm the only one who knows how to use Instagram. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You showed me how to use Instagram stories. Do you know it's exactly like Snapchat set? Yes, I do, Nigel. What's the concept? I was watching Everybody Has to Wake Up at some stage, and... I love that show. Do you know Sam's not a real blonde? Really? I've got the link. Check it out. He's the food blogger with over half a million fans on social media, which he's turned into a lucrative family business. Mum! Mum! How many times have I told you that's not how you fold it? You're both idiots! Please welcome Johnny Chu. Hi, Johnny. Thanks, Sam. I brought you a T-shirt. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I do like a present, though. Now, the camera eats first. What does that actually mean? It's a hilarious joke that I came up with about food bloggers, you know, because we always like to take pictures of the food before we eat it, so it's like, you know, the cam eats first. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I get it, but did you actually come up with it first? Yeah. Are you sure? I did read an article in the New York Times about the evolution of the food blogger. Oh, well, look, OK, technically I didn't come up with it first, but, you know, I was the first person to put it on a T-shirt. Right, OK. Well, look, let's take a look at some of Johnny's work. Hi guys, I am just here at a new restaurant called Fusions and I have ordered their signature dish which is a pulled pork and ceviche flavoured ice cream slider with cane juice and a little bit of foie gras foam. And remember guys, I don't just take food photos, okay? I film the food. You know we want to get involved with an influencer. I bet that dish tastes like turd. And I'll just send that out to all of my followers, all of you beautiful chewers out there. And remember, guys, what do we say? Repeat after me, huh? The camera eats first. Johnny, that looks fantastic. What did that dish actually taste like? I have no idea. I never try the food. <laughs> OK, look, it's been lovely to have you in. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Hey, Sam, uh, your hair's not really blonde, is it? Uh, I, I'm not seeing this. Case, I don't understand why you want us to work with this woman. She's a cheese ball. And her hair's not even blonde. Get me that Asian kid now. That's who I was talking about. Don't try and steal my ideas, all right? I want the Asian kid here pronto. I told you he wanted one of these under the influences. What flavour pod do you want? Who cares? They all taste the same anyway. Well, even George Clooney can tell those apart. Hey, guys, a little less sexual tension. Let's go Johnny's waiting, OK? I didn't know you cycled, Nigel. Just started, mate. When? This morning. You know, it's the new golf, it's very social, it's where the deals are done. Who'd you cycle with this morning? Uh, with myself. You know, I hate people. Get in there. I can't believe you don't have Netflix, Johnny. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't actually believe in other people's content. Hey, Johnny, how are you, dude? Love that thing you did last night. What was it? Deep fried Korean apricots or something? Amazing. I don't remember, you know, I don't think about these things unless I'm seeing how many likes it's got on social media. Cool. So, Johnny, our tech and development guy has been working overtime on this new product, and we think that not only are you going to love it, but that it's going to revolutionise how people see food on social media. But I've already done that. Yeah, but you're about to do it again. Have a look. I love it. I just love it. <gasps> <laughs> That's the thing, though, people. We live in a time of change. Now, when Johnny Chu started filming food and he got all those thousands of followers on Instagram, that was a crazy dream. And here at Road, we're a dream factory. And we looked at Johnny's dream and we realised it was missing something. Sound. As a result, ladies and gentlemen, we developed a world first. We developed a microphone that enables you to capture the sound of food in a way never thought possible. It's completely wireless and possesses clarity never heard before. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Rode Food Mic Pro. Guys, quiet on set. 